What's up, guys? It's your boy Ladarius again, and I'm back with my guy, AJ. I don't know if you can see him. He's eating ice cream, and I got a problem, and my problem is the second episode of Attack on Titan Season 3, and it was honestly perfection. Yeah. The first 10 minutes straight, I was on the edge of my seat. Your boy Levi shouldn't be zipping around the city like that. 3D maneuver gear, as my friend would say, is probably the greatest invention in anime in the last 10 years. Last, easily the last decade. It doesn't make sense in real life. Like, you can't Spider-Man swing. Like, there's just not enough gas to propel an average build body around the city. Whatever. Levi is the guy. I swear to God, that man is incredible. I... Uh, Swear to go I'm still kind of speechless after what I just saw. Uh, I mean, outside of the first 10 minutes of just pure action scenes, we get a little bit of, uh, what am I looking for? A little bit of exposition. A lot, a little, a lot of exposition. We learn about the Rice family and how Historia is actually the true uh, heir to the royal family. We know that Kenny, the Ripper Man, is being contracted by the military police. That's why they're after the uh, Survey Corps. Uh, I'm trying to think anything else that was really important of no. Oh, Aaron remembered that he might actually get eaten. Uh, I'm sure that's important for anyone that hasn't read the manga. Uh, I don't know, guys. This was probably the best episode of Attack on Titan I've seen yet. Easily. Easy. Easily the best episode. Uh, the opener grew on me just a little bit. Uh... It actually has a lot of darker themes to it than I gave it credit for originally. Like, you can tell that adult Aaron is kind of letting his childhood Aaron go. I don't know if he's seen too many things. He's done too many things. His personality is just not that... Uh, you, not you, that kind anymore. He's never really been a very nice guy. He's always been loyal and dutiful, but he's kind of been psychopathic. Uh, if you really uh, break down his psychology. Um... But I know we're going to get a lot of Levi backstory this season. It's probably going to be the arc of Levi, which honestly is perfect. I, I, I couldn't ask for any more. That's my favorite character. Um, <clears throat> you, you, said it, you said it yourself about the, uh, about the, uh, the theme song. We were talking about the theme song, and you said, well, I had said that uh, if, if you never watched Attack on Titan, and you watch that, you would you wouldn't think there was any Titan killing in it. But you say to yourself that this is probably it's it's well, if you've read the manga, but like this is not the big Titan killing arc of the manga. This is like very human, you know, peer to peer, person to person interaction. I mean, there was people dying left and right in this episode. Exactly. And Levi kinda hinted at it at the end of season two and at the beginning of season three. That we're not just killing Titans anymore. We're killing humans. And I think that might be one of the main reasons why we don't see it in the opener as much as we would in past openers. Because it's going to focus more on inside the walls than outside the walls. Um, but I don't know. I feel like it'll make more sense as the season goes on, as it usually does. But if you guys have anything else to add, please let me know in the comments. Please subscribe to my channel. You know, the whole nine. Adios.